we get all the younger people coming to eat the plant-based food. So it's a, it's a perfect way how we can share our Peranakan culture and heritage through the food to the younger generation. I've always been fascinated with the Peranakan cooking because the, the men usually are not allowed in the kitchen, it's only the ladies are allowed in the kitchen. So being a young kid, occasionally my grandmother allowed me to come in the kitchen, smell and taste and everything else. That's how I, I got myself so intrigued with Peranakan food because she would spend the whole day just doing it, you know, just, just preparing it. I wanted to share our traditional Peranakan food without any energy with everybody, so I, I started this restaurant here. Mari Masa. Thank you for having us in your kitchen. And uh, being a Peranakan myself, I'm so proud to be in this kitchen. We are preparing some wonderful dishes today. Mm -hmm. I believe this dish is ayam pongte without the ayam. Without ayamless, they call it. Ayamless pongte. <laughs> we got the basic potatoes, okay. with carrots, uh, some onions and garlic. Then we added in a little bit of uh, black mushrooms. And we soak it for how long? Oh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. okay, Raymond, now we're here in front of your walks. What should yes. we do? So this is very, very low, low heat. heat. Okay. Uh, Careful. Okay, wow. Excellent. Professional, huh? Professional, huh? Vegetables. Oh. Alright. Mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay, mushrooms go in next. Yeah, yeah, all of it. Wow. Ranakan cooking especially, it's all about the feel. What I learned from my grandmother said, ah, skip ni, skip to. That means a little bit of this, a little bit of a pinch of this, a pinch no of that. No measurements. There's no measurements. No weighing scale, huh? No weighing scale, okay. nothing in there. So this is the Hura, Hura, Hura ayamless, ayamless <laughs> ayam chicken. chicken eh? <laughs> it's a plant-based chicken. To me, being a chef, the best thing for me is that it's so easy to use. And then you're ready to go. Ready to serve. How long did it take? Five, five minutes. minutes. That's all here. <laughs> well done. Well done. Raymond, no hiang. Yes. I mean, it's all about cooking, you know. Yes. You, you need to feel the ingredients. I think that, yes, that's important. Yes. And that's where the love comes in. You know, when you eat it, it's like, wow. In this instance, we're using omni meat. Now let's mix everything in together. This is the ketumba, coriander. So the smell of the coriander is so aromatic. Yes. And it smells like mohyang. And we haven't <laughs> even started cooking yet. Right. So now we wrap, huh? I'm so excited that uh, you know we, we can serve all our, our customers this additional option to eat plant-based food. Right. It's never been available in, in the Prankai cuisine. Yeah. We're the first restaurant. The to first do. restaurant to go plant-based. Secret recipe of enhancing all this is actually the sambal blachan. Uh. It's quite essential in Prankai food. Put a little bit of blachan on it. Yes. Amazing. Part time with us. I know. 60% <laughs> of our catering is all plant based. 60%? 60%, yes. Wow. All plant based. And it's all driven by the consumer. All driven by consumer, nothing about us. Cheers. Yeah.